Well, hello YouTube, and um, well, we got the parts. Let's take a look. And this is the pre-bled, pre-assembled master cylinder. Comes with the push rod for the pedal, which I am going to just use the one that is in there already. Should be identical as the rest of it also is identical. All the way down to the AP markings and everything. Let's see here. If we can get that. DB37BA033A That's probably not going to be able to be seen, but DB37BA033A. All right, so let's get this sucker installed. We've got a couple of technical bulletins here. Just a warning to not remove the straps that hold the cylinder in place, the slave cylinder, which these straps are actually shorter than the ones that came on that um, Duralast aftermarket aluminum one. Um, just a warning, do not cut the retaining straps. And also for servicing the slave cylinder, or the master cylinder or the slave cylinder, actually it just says, um, to service the slave cylinder, the line to the master cylinder must be uncoupled. And um, this little doodad here, which I had thought was a um, either a filter or check valve or a, some sort of something or other, is actually a quick disconnect. And this actually comes with a tool that you use to slip it over there and push it in, which I'm not going to do. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get this thing in. And we'll be... All right, so we've got it installed. Looks like it should belong there. Hmm. I think the most difficult part was routing the line. Um, or actually not necessarily mounting the line, but getting the master cylinder threaded down through the, between the frame and the um, steering shaft. I'm not going to go under the truck because we've already seen that before, but here we go. We've got a nice firm pedal and I've got rust in my mouth. <sighs> yeah. Well, here goes nothing. I heard a snap, but I still have pedal, and I do not remember the pedal on this truck ever being this firm. It was always kind of mushy. Um, so like I said, this was a long pre-existing problem. Oh, wow. Okay, that, that practically, if all well, it does slam my knee off the steering column. How? How? Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that. All right see what happens. All right, clutch is in. Let's see if we can put her in gear. Yeah. Reverse. You 
Yeah! Success! Yeah, we're not going to do much more than that because I don't want to um, run it up over the, um, the block I have in front of the rear wheels simply due to the fact because we have no brakes. I'm not quite ready to turn the truck around yet, but that's two steps down or two steps closer to getting this sucker back on the road. We got the engine going. That rattle is awful. That's the muffler. The original muffler, mind you, the thing's about the size of a 30 gallon oil drum. Um, but yeah, we got the engine going. We got the clutch working. Now just to turn this sucker around and get the brakes fixed so she's drivable. And then to um, do the body work. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.